links this router for a simple network. The basic job of the router is to steer information across the network, um, which means in the remote view capability, the first thing it's probably going to do is block incoming connections. That's what its job is. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up what's known as a port forward. And the basic idea is if an incoming request comes in on a certain port for this IP, that the router automatically steers the information to a network device, which is exactly what we want. We want the, to enable the remote view through the router without having to turn off the security. So to find the router, we go to start and run and type in CMD. It's short for command and it'll pull up a DOS prompt for you. And if you run a command called ipconfig, it will give you the basic network settings of the computer. Nine times out of ten, this default gateway here is the location of your router for any particular network, especially usually on a simple network. And most routers, thankfully, have actually a web browser interface. So what you can do is do HTTP colon slash slash and then the IP address of your router. Um, the username and password you're going to have to get from your customer. Um, this particular router is still in its default state so we're just going to use the default password and get into it. And this pulls up the Linksys uh, command interface. What we're looking for is right here, the applications and gaming section and more specifically the port forwarding. So the first field here is just text, it's whatever you want to call it. We can call it, you know, DVR remote view. The actual port range here, most routers are capable of forwarding not only a single port but a whole contiguous set of ports um, back to back. The good news is most DVRs only require one port. In this particular case, we're going to do port 5400 to 5400. The protocol is going to be TCP IP. And this last part is asking you what address do you want to forward to? Um, so what we're going to do is on the IP address right here. This is the IP address of the computer, um, this particular computer. So you're going to need to know the address of your DVR uh, where it's sitting on the network. So what you do is on this last field here, you would put the IP address of the DVR, enable it, and save it. That's actually it, honestly. The last part is just, you know, testing the connection from the outside source. So the basic overview is you locate the router using the IP config, you edit the router settings and do a port forward. The port forward actual port number is described in the DVR manual. In this particular case, it was port number 5400. And the IP address of the DVR itself is also located in the you know DVR setup. In this particular case, we put 97. Once that's all saved, um, when an incoming connection comes into this particular router, if it's looking for port 5400, which a remote view would be, it'll automatically forward all those requests to the IP address 97. And that is it. That's how to do a basic port forward on a Linksys router on a simple network.